Hey guys, my name's Pepe and this is my lovely wife Elizabeth. We're diving headfirst into the world of DIY, transforming our 1978 double wide mobile home into a beautiful modern masterpiece. Follow us as we tackle renovations, upgrades and everything in between. Stick around and join us on our DIY home revival journey. All right, so if you guys can see, both of the sides are completely done. I totally forgot the SD card for my camera, so I wasn't able to record anything. And then I realized that I could actually record using my phone. Um, but by then I had already finished all of this. But as you can see, I've already sanded it down. I've already sprayed this stuff right here. This is the Homax wall texture, and it has a few different um, settings. Right, I have it all the way to the right under the fine. Uh, this is as fine as you can get it. And uh, it actually, I think it's gonna come out pretty nice. I don't know if you guys, yep, there it is. You guys can definitely see, right? Obviously, that's already painted. That's me, right? I'm hoping that once I go over it with the primer, it'll match a little bit more. I guess, I guess we'll see though. Um, I've already sprayed it from, and I went over a little bit to kind of like try and flare it out a little bit, try to blend it in, right? I did not put it on this side though. I contacted my drywall guy and he told me not to put tape on there, but when he told me not to put tape, I had already done it, so. I don't know. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll find out if uh, you can see it. I'm not really too concerned though. I don't really care if you can see it or not. No big deal. It's not like, I mean, it's a shower, right? No, it's no big deal. I taped this over here as well, down at the bottom. I also, um, you guys notice that there's a nice little patch here. The reason there's a patch is because of these little plastic things. They, uh, they're supposed to sit in there and um, I believe it's supposed to be flush with the drywall. Well, this is half inch drywall, right? And uh, this sticks out way too far. It's about an eighth inch. And if I keep it, it's just, it's not gonna look, it's not gonna look good, it's not gonna look even. So I decided to go away with these, patch it, and there's just a little hole. Hopefully that's okay. If not, then I don't know. I guess, uh, I guess we'll find out. Right, but um, no good. This is the master bathroom, and I did the exact same thing. I sanded it down. You can still see a little bit of the tape right here, but uh, I don't know. I'm hoping that once I paint over it, it'll be okay. If it doesn't, then I'll have to fix it, but we're gonna leave it alone for now. So that's that. Same thing on this side. I ended up just patching that. Right, hopefully that's okay. So we're moving along. I also installed the uh, the vanity. My wife came down and the vanity looks pretty good. I've already centered it where it needs to go. We have the vanity top right over there. And uh, right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, uh, the faucets, put them on, install those, and then set it on top. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some some silicone around the edges, make it look real nice, and uh, and that's pretty much it. You notice that um, the outlets here they're obviously missing, right? I don't know if I told you guys, but they were in the way, so I decided to move them. We're just gonna block them, and I got the mirror here ready to go. It's just it, it just wouldn't look good, you know? It would not look. Good. I mean, imagine. The mirror from here to here, it just looks crazy, you know? And uh, I don't want that, so, yep. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and follow along our DIY home renovation journey. See you on the next one.